Father's love, everyone, and welcome to the Daily Devotional for January the 4th from Our Daily Walk by F.B. Meyer. This one's entitled, Our Captain. Verses for the day are Hebrews chapter 2, verses 10 and 11. That's Hebrews chapter 2, verses 10 and 11. For it became him for whom are all things, and by whom are all things, in bringing many sons unto glory, to make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings. For both he that sanctifieth and they who are sanctified are all of one, for which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren. The word translated in this passage, captain, might be rendered file leader. It was thus used by Peter when he said, Ye killed the prince, i.e. the file leader of life. Our Lord is beheld stepping up from the grave in Joseph's garden, to which apparently the hatred of his foes had brought him. And as he passes forth, he is discovered to be the first or leader of an endless procession, which, in single file, is ever ascending from the grave to stand with him and to follow him through all the subsequent ages. In the earlier part of that great procession, we can see the glorious company of the apostles behind them the godly, goodly fellowship of prophets and the noble army of martyrs. Polycarp and Ignatius are there, Chrysostom and Augustine, Luther, Calvin, Wesley and Spurgeon. Our ancestors follow and our parents. We are there and our children will follow. We follow Christ, our captain, through Gethsemane, to Calvary, through death, to life, through the grave, to the Ascension Mountain. When Isaiah anticipated Christ's advent, he said that God had given him to be a leader and commander to the people. He has the preeminence, not only because of his original glory as the Son of God, but since he has won it in his obedience as a man. Never has the will of God been wrought out so perfectly as by our Lord. And in this, we are called upon to obey and follow him. He was made perfect through sufferings. So shall we be. And as he is now crowned with glory and honor, so shall we be. The only way in which Christ could bring us to share in his glory was to admit, to submit to suffering and death. In no other way could he act as the mediator of the divine life to us who are his brethren. Similarly, if we could become the mediators of help and blessings to others, we also must be prepared to suffer. We must learn to do despite our own will and way. The way of the cross is the only path to the throne. We can only reach our highest by the constant saying of no to our self-life. This will involve suffering and pain, but only so can we follow our captain. I hope that devotional blesses you and strengthens you. Need be, I hope it convicts you. Don't forget to pray for the children, our fellow brothers and sisters around the world, and those lost in darkness, so they too can see the light. <clears throat> the prayer from today's devotional is this. Teach us, O Lord, 
not only to bear, but to love thy cross. As we take it and carry it, may we find that it is carrying us. May our Father bless you. May he keep you. May his grace shine upon you and give you peace. Amen. I'll see you next time.